Daniel Defense M4 9 inch rail in the mail today from Rainier Arms and the little nut that goes around it and this barrel with the Daniel Defense barrel nut already on it and the gas block on it and the Yankee YHM the YHM Phantom um, perm attached already I had them go ahead and put the gas block and the barrel nut on it because if they perm attached <laughs> the flash hider without doing that, I'd be shrewd. And then there's the anti rotation pins for the Daniel Defense rail. And then over here, I got from some place earlier. Um, don't mind the mini gun that I have with the front and rear sights. <laughs> but that's my Viltor Moore. Oh, this barrel is. Um, stainless steel match grade 1 and 7 twist barrel from White Oak Armament. I'm pretty jazzed about getting this on my rifle. First thing I'm going to do, here's my DPMS Panther Claw sitting in a, this device grip on my workbench. I'm going to put the upper receiver on it. And then put in these two pins. It's just kind of like your front and rear takedown pins on your AR. And just to secure the receiver so we can work on it. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is put a little grease on these threads right here. All the way around. Just because when you put on your barrel nut, I forget where I read this. But anyways, there's a lot of friction between your barrel nut and these threads on your upper receiver. And it helps you get in that last bit of a turn. Um, so that you can line up your gas tube holes in your barrel nut. But it's just a little tip, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's good. I also put a little bit of grease around the barrel extension on the barrel, just to make it a little easier to slide into the upper receiver. Sometimes it's a little more difficult than other times, um, but that might help. Next, if you're using the Daniel Defense um, rail system, you need to put your nut on before you put your barrel on, otherwise <laughs> you won't be able to tighten it on. So, then you get your barrel, put it on, and your upper receiver, push it all the way in, and line up the little um, metal rod with that notch there in your upper receiver that keeps your barrel lined up vertically and then all you have to do is tighten down your barrel nut Now that I have my barrel nut semi-tightened onto the upper receiver, securing the barrel, next thing I'll do is I'll use my barrel nut wrench. Um, I just tighten that with my fingers down. Next I'll use my barrel nut wrench with this end. There's another end for like the standard delta ring assembly. Well, this end fits great and the Daniel Defense barrel nut for the M4 rail. So I'll use that right here, and you can also use a torque wrench in one of these squares. But that barrel nut is supposed to be torqued to, I think it's 70 or 80 foot-pounds or something like that. And then once you reach that tightness, you tighten it to the next hole and line it up. Try to line up that top hole 
with the gas tube holding the upper receiver just perfectly. And we'll get to that in a minute. Once you tighten your barrel nut with your barrel nut wrench, that in onto your upper receiver to the certain torque value and lined up this top hole perfectly with a gas tube hole in your upper receiver. Um, I always, before I lock everything down, I always verify with this um, rail system to make sure it's a real nice lineup and then I mess with it if it's not. Um, so you got to put in these anti-rotation pins. You put them at, uh, at 90 degrees to the vertical on either side. And then you slide on your reel. And then I also greased up these threads, same reason, just to be able to ease it on better as I slide it on, tightening it. Once you get it like halfway tightened, you gotta push it onto those pins. Finish tightening it. Now before I really ream it down, I'm going to make sure my lineup is good, which you can kind of see, that's a pretty smooth straight lineup. Other people might have actual ways to line these up, <laughs> I just do it by eye, just because I don't have any fancy tools. And you kind of look at the gas block too, make sure it's centered under there, which the gas block you can mess around with too. But once you're satisfied with your lineup, you want this to be perfectly lined up, otherwise your sights will be off. If you have like a front, a flip up front sight up here. Once you have it lined up perfectly, then you can finish tightening it. Now that I made sure everything's lined up and perfect, I'm actually going to untighten this again. Because I got to put your gas tube on. You do want to make sure it's lined up though before you put your gas tube on because if you put your gas tube and your upper receiver and then you don't like the line up, you're going to have to take it back out, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So, anyways, take your quad rail back off. 